Hey. hey. Been a while. Feels like it has, doesn't it? But it was like last week, but it wasn't. <laughs> Welcome to your daily scrum. I'm professional scrum trainer Ryan Ripley. That gentleman over there is professional scrum trainer Todd Miller. We do this daily show to help all of you get a little bit better at scrum each and every day. If you want to get really good at scrum, pick up our book, Fixing Your Scrum, Practical Solutions to Common Scrum Problems. We took about 100 of our silliest things that we've ever done with the team. We captured them as anti-patterns and told you how we would fix them if we were in that situation again. All right, Todd, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. You know, it feels like it's at that time of year where we still got like a month left in the summer, but it feels like it's over, right? It's a really yeah. odd time of year. I do you have a feeling the same thing I'm feeling there. Yeah, I kind of feeling that that towards the end of summer, kids are going to be back in school. That cool air, <laughs> <laughs> that cool air is coming in. The mm -hmm. fall is around the corner, mm -hmm. um, but the show must go on. It must. So Todd, today, help my scrum team is in different time zones. This is a biggie right now. We got remote work. We have people working from home. We've got hybrid setups. We've got a global economy. We have people working, you know, they're following the sun. And this is starting to be, well, it's always been kind of an issue, but now it's a big issue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I feel like we've been dealing with this for some time. I know you and I have actually talked extensively about this. You've, you've worked with teams um, from overseas quite a bit. Uh, quite a bit more than me, I, I believe. Um, I've worked with a lot of teams that are spread, you know, um, uh, throughout the throughout the U.S. and and some some team members from overseas. So, uh, as you stated too, I think this is an ever ever growing. I don't want to call it a problem. An ever growing opportunity. There you go. To uh, to, uh, to to create some new uh, communication norms. Yeah, this is, uh, it is an opportunity, right? So with uh, the work from home and remote work and these things being becoming more prevalent, um, it certainly allows employers to have a, a wider look at talent, which is great. But with mm -hmm. that comes a really interesting challenge and opportunity that, you know, if I'm in the central time zone in the United States and half of our team, you know, I used to be in a situation where I managed teams that were in Switzerland. I've, I've helped to manage teams that were, um, you know, in, in India and, and trying to, to find a great time zone for each team became difficult. Mm -hmm. And so something that uh, we ultimately had to do was establish scrum teams within a few time zones of each other. So mm -hmm. we had to be very intentional when we were hiring, not just for top talent, but also we had to start thinking about location, right? And so if we are hiring people in Western Europe, that's awesome. There's a huge talent pool there. They're amazing people. But now we need to start building a localized team there, mm -hmm. right? Because self-management is a thing in Scrum and they need to be able to, they can't wait for me in the US who's, you know, eight hours behind or how many hours it happens to be depending on the time of year and the time zone I'm in to make decisions. Uh, and so what I found was building these localized Scrum teams and having them kind of work as you would expect in more of a, um, a nexus type of situation really was what helped. We weren't necessarily scaling because we were big. We were scaling because of the time zone. And nexus really helped us with that. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what I, you know what I think is an easy trap to fall into is like the majority rules type of mentality, right? Where it's like, well, there's five of us here and only two of you there. So right. let's, let's do what's convenient for us five. Right. That's a that's a really great way to not have a team. Right. right? I, I think I think you start to have to have um, collective conversations around um, what what best meets the team needs from a global perspective. Right. It can't just be, hey, you're up every day at five o'clock in the morning because it's convenient for us. Right. I have to yeah. share the pain a little bit. Yeah. Th I mean, there is a component of that, right? So there would be nights, all right, so I'm going to be up at three in the morning having a, a conversation with the team and maybe the next month it would be a different kind of schedule. And, and so I think that's really important. I think what's also what everyone misses is, look, you and I could rattle off a thousand different configurations and mm -hmm. ideas. We could, mm -hmm. there's, there's so many ways to solve this, but why not just get your team together, you know, pick, you know, someone's going to suffer with the time, you know, hopefully mm -hmm. we're, we're, we're trading off on that. Like you were mentioning, Todd, but let's get everybody together and see how can we best work together? Yeah. What do we need in order to be successful? Right. What do we and, and let the team decide like self-management is a thing, like I said before, and allowing them to decide when are we going to be awake? What are our working hours? 
you know, how are we going to collaborate? How are we going to ensure that? I mean, how does a daily scrum work on a team with four different, yeah. you know, spanning time zones and and let them start the experimentation uh, process of I mean, look, this is forming, storming, norming and performing. This is the Tuckman model on steroids, right? Yeah, this is a really tricky thing. Let's put them in the driver's seat. I, I love it. Yep. And then, I mean, we have a we have an event built into Scrum that allows us to inspect how we are as far as processes and tools and quality yeah. and adapt, right? Sprint retrospective. So leverage that and and continue to uh, arrive in the best place. One last thing here, Scrum Master. If this is Scrum Master, I, I was asking this. I believe this isn't you, right? This is for you to put. As you were saying all this time, this is for you to put this back on the team for to have them figure out how to best uh, interoperate. Yeah. You could come to the table with a million ideas and none of them work. Let the right. team own it. Yeah, and just, I, I think, set the expectation. So this is where a Scrum Master can really help a Scrum team. You know, set the expectation with leadership, with management, that this is an ongoing process to figure things mm -hmm. out, right? And I would also set the expectation that um, we're not going to have the same type of collaboration and interactions that you would with a local co-located team. You know, I'm not going to come off of that point that co-location is, is optimal. Now, can, can this remote stuff work great? Absolutely. But the time zone issue is just one of many things, one of many opportunities we're going to have to try to, to solve for. Yeah. hundred percent. All right. I think we've, uh, Todd, we've hit the end of this one. That's and so wrap. you know what that you know what that means. End screen time. <laughs> All right, like and subscribe so you know when the next episode of your daily scrum drops. We've got some metric shows dropping with Will Seeley. We've got more Kanban episodes with Dan Vicanti. We have more agile coaching shows with Esther Derby and Melissa Boggs and Stephanie Ackerman and so many others coming up. You don't want to miss a single one. We're getting a lot of great feedback. So hit that like and subscribe so you know when they drop. Check out our socials. We're pretty active especially on LinkedIn and Twitter. Check out the videos below. They just popped up. We think you'll like them. They'll help you with your Scrum questions. Leave a comment. Let us know how we can help. Ask your questions. Leave some comments. Let us know how we're doing. For Todd Miller, I'm Ryan Ripley. Go forth. Do some great Scrum. We'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.